Hey gang, just to let you know, you can now use the promo code MTGMUDSTA, all caps, at FlipsideGaming.com and OriginalMagicArt.store. Using the code gets you 10% off orders $10 or more, and you get to help out the channel at the same time. I also want to let you guys know that Flipside Gaming is doing another giveaway, this time for a box of Ultimate Masters. Anyone who uses my promo code MTGMUDSTA for orders over $10 or more will be entered to win. There's one entry per person, so I wish you good luck, and please be sure to let me know what box topper you get when you win. This is just a special announcement that between November 23rd to the 26th, if you use the promo code MTGMUDSTA, BF, all caps, you get 15% off magic singles. There's also a bunch of other things on sale, so be sure to check it out. This week's game's a little bit different, as it features all four of the pre-con commanders, but with some alterations to the deck. Sean is playing Lord Wingrace, keeping two swamps, Paducah Gardener, Terramorphic Expanse, World Shaper, Grizzly Salvage, and Final Parting. Harry is playing Aminatu and keeps Jwar Isle Refuge, Forsaken Sanctuary, Sensei's Divining Top, Soul Ring, Demir Guildgate, and Two Plains. Tal is playing his Brutaclad deck, keeping Vulcan Orrery, Rapid Hybridization, Dark Seal Citadel, a Mountain, an Island, Is It Boilerworks, and Command Tower. Lastly, Ben is playing Estrid, keeping Loyal Guardian, Whitewater Naiads, Frontier Siege, Forest, Seaside Citadel, Tranquil Cove, and a Plains. Harry wins the die roll and starts us off. Harry plays a Tap Jwar Isle Refuge, gaining one life. Sean plays a Terramorphic Expanse, cracking it to go and find a basic. Ben plays a Tap Seaside Citadel and passes. Tao plays a Command Tower, passing to Harry. Harry plays a Forsaken Sanctuary, and then casts Soul Ring. He taps the ring to cast Sensei's top, and using the one floating, activates the top to rearrange the top three. Sean plays a Swamp, and he casts Padoka Gardener. Ben plays a Tranquil Cove, gaining one. Tao plays a Darksteel Citadel, and he casts Swiftfoot Boots. Harry plays a tapped Demir Guildgate, passing turn. Sean plays a Mountain, and passes. Ben plays a Forest and passes. Tao plays a tapped Is It Boilerworks, bouncing his Citadel. At the end of turn, Harry activates his top. Harry casts Aminatu in his main phase, and he plays a Forge of Heroes for his land for turn. He taps it to give her another loyalty counter, and with the trigger on the stack, Sean casts Grizzly Salvage and keeps a stomping ground. Sean then activates his Gardener and puts out the stomping ground. Harry then upticks Aminatu, drawing a card and putting a card from his hand on top of his library. Sean plays a Swamp and he casts Final Parting. He finds a card for his hand and puts Dakmore Salvage into his graveyard. Ben plays a Plains and casts Idle on a Blossoms, drawing a card as it enters. Tal draws and plays a Darksteel Citadel again. He then casts Vidalcan Orrery and passes. Harry upticks Aminatu and plays a Scoured Barons, gaining one. He then casts the Dejin of the Wishes, and once again, Sean taps his Gardener to put out a Raging Ravine. Sean dredges a Dakmore Salvage instead of drawing, and he casts Lord Wingrace in his main phase. He upticks Wingrace, discarding Dakmore Salvage, and dredges for the first draw, and then draws an actual card. He then plays the Dakmore Salvage as his land for turn, and passes. Ben plays a Cross and Verge as his land for turn, and he casts a Frontier Siege. He draws from the Eidolon, and he names Cons as it enters. Tao plays a Highland Lake, and he casts Rapid Hybridization on Harry's Dejin. Harry casts Predict, and names Plains, picking himself. He reveals a Plains, milling it, and then draws two. Harry then plays a Swamp, and casts a Demir Signet. We then see a Knight Incarnate hit the field, and Harry flickers it with Animanatu, basically wiping the board as it leaves play. Sean casts an Archfiend of Ifnir in his main phase, and he upticks Lord Wingrace. He discards Lavalanche, which triggers the Archfiend, and has all of Sean's opponent's creatures get a minus one minus one counter on them while he draws one. Sean then plays a Bayou, and he casts a Loyal Subordinate. He then moves to combat, and each of Sean's opponents loses three. Ben draws and plays a Plains for his turn. He uses the green from the Frontier Siege to crack the Verge, and goes to grab two more lands. Ben then moves through combat, and passes. Tal draws, plays an island, and passes turn. Harry draws and casts Serum Visions, drawing and scrying two. 
He then plays a Plains, and he casts Oath of Jace, drawing three and discarding two cards. Harry then upticks Aminatu, drawing one and putting one on top of his library. He then passes. Sean upticks Windgrace, discarding a forest and giving all creatures another minus one minus one counter, and then draws two. He plays a forest, and drops a Civic Wayfinder, who lets him find a basic. Sean then casts a World Shaper, and moves to combat. The loyal subordinate triggers, and everyone loses three life again. Sean also swings the Archfiend at Aminatu, and she takes five. Ben casts Dawn to Dusk to return his Eidolon to his hand, and then passes. At the end of Ben's turn, Tal flashes in Psy. Tal plays a Mountain, and brings out Bruticlad. This triggers Psy, and Tal gains a Thopter token. He then puts the boots onto his commander, and he moves to combat. He makes a mere token with Bruticlad's ability, and has it become a copy of the Thopter. Tal then swings them at Lord Wingrace for two, and Ben for four with Bruticlad. At the end of turn, Harry casts Utter End to exile Lord Wingrace, and he activates his top to rearrange the top three, as he's been doing at the end of Tal's turn nearly every time. Harry draws, but then upticks Aminatu, drawing one and putting one back. He then casts an Akroma's Vengeance. With his World Shaper dying, Sean gets to bring all of his lands from his graveyard back tapped. Harry then casts a Portent, doing some more rearranging, and he passes. Harry draws on Sean's upkeep, and Sean cracks his Terramorphic to find another basic. He then recasts Lord Wingrace, and upticks him discarding Blighted Woodland, and drawing two. Sean then animates the Raging Ravine, and moves to combat, swinging it at Harry, and giving the Raging Ravine a counter, and hitting him for four. Ben plays an Eidolon of Blossoms, drawing a card, and plays an Evolving Wilds, cracking it for a basic. He then passes. Tao plays an Island, and casts Bane a Balaged. He then passes as well. Harry reveals and treat the angels, and casts it for its miracle cost, putting six into X. He then upticks Aminatu, doing the whole draw-swap thing she does, and he passes to Sean. Sean draws and plays Reliquary Tower, and brings out Death Reap Ritual. He then casts a Centaur Vine Crasher, and they count up lands and graveyards, which is six. Sean then casts a Savage Twister, where X is four, to try and wipe the board. This does so, and moving to his end step, he gets a morbid trigger from the Death Reap Ritual, and draws a card. Ben plays a Forge of Heroes, and brings out Estrid. He taps the Forge to add another loyalty counter to her, and he upticks her before passing to Tal. Tal plays a Mountain, and he casts Helm of the Host. He equips it onto the Bane, and moves to combat, gaining a token. He swings a token at Harry, and the original at Sean. Each of them also have to exile two permanents, and then they both take seven. Harry upticks Aminatu in his main phase, and he casts Druidic Satchel, and then passes turn. Sean draws, and upticks Lord Windgrace, discarding Myriad Landscape and drawing two. He plays a Swamp, and casts a Loyal Guardian. He then animates Raging Ravine, and moving to combat, his Guardian triggers giving all of his creatures a plus one plus one counter. Sean swings the Ravine at Harry, who gets another plus one plus one counter for swinging, and the Centaur at Tal for eight. On Ben's turn, he casts a Martial Coup where X is 7. Sean responds by casting Golgari Charm to regenerate all of his creatures, and Ben wipes the board and gains 7 soldiers. Ben then upticks Estrid, and he passes to Tal. Tal plays an island and casts a Mere Battlesphere. He then passes, and at the end of turn, Harry activates the Satchel, revealing Entreat the Dead off the top and gaining 2 life. Harry then draws for turn, and Miracles Entreat the Dead. And he brings back Knights Incarnate, the Dijin and Riverwise Augur, drawing three and putting two back. Harry then plays a command tower as his land return, and he flickers the Riverwise again with Aminatu, basically brainstorming once more. Sean upticks Wingrace, discarding the swamp and drawing two. We then see a sudden reclamation, and Sean mills four, and he brings back command tower and a crash of rhinos. He plays the command tower first, and then casts the crash. Sean then animates the ravine once more, and moving to combat, puts another plus one plus one counter on all of his creatures from the Loyal Guardian. The ravine then goes at Ben because he's flicking his cards, and the centaur heads towards Tal. Ben blocks the ravine with a soldier, and Tal takes nine. 
Ben uses Estrid's ultimate to bring back all of his enchantments, and then all of his auras, attaching Dawn's reflection to a plains and Verdant Haven to another, gaining two life as it enters. He then draws five cards from the Eidolon scene in all of this, and Ben then casts a loyal unicorn, and he brings out Enchantress's presence. He extorts it from blind obedience, and draws as it enters. Ben then swings his now vigilant soldiers at Lord Wingrace, and Sean blocks two while Wingrace takes four. Ben then has to discard down to seven, and passes to Tal. Tal equips the mere battle sphere with the helm in his main phase, and moves to combat. He makes a token copy of it, who comes in tapped with four of his little mirror friends, who are also tapped. Tal then passes, and at the end of turn, Harry activates his satchel, and he reveals an island, and gets to put it into play. Harry down takes Aminatu, using his river wise as a brainstorm again. He then casts an Azorius Signet, and then a Commander Sphere, which should be tapped, but apparently we're not watching out for blind obedience. Sean draws and plays a swamp, just look how many lands he has. He plays a Charnel Worm, and he animates his Raging Ravine. Tal thankfully catches the people that should have had stuff come in tapped, and the guys correct it, while Sean adds a plus one plus one counter to all of his creatures because of the Loyal Guardian. The centaur once again goes at Tal, while the rhino beetles at Harry, and the ravine goes at Ben. This triggers the ravine to get another plus one plus one counter, and Harry blocks with the knight incarnate, Tal blocks with his mirror token, and Ben blocks a lot on the ravine. Lots of things die, and then more things die as the knight's incarnate dies, and Harry also takes 13. At the end of turn, Ben flashes an eel umbra onto his unicorn, drawing from the presence. Ben casts a rhystic study, drawing from the presence. He then drops a sigil of the empty throne, but Tal counters it with an insidious will, and even pays the one for it. Ben then upticks Estrid to untap his two lands, and he casts a satyr enchanter. And Ben then passes to Tal. Tal plays an island for his turn, and he recasts Brutoclad, paying the one for the tax. But Ben gets his revenge by countering Tal's spell with his own copy of insidious will. Tal then swings the battle sphere at Ben, who blocks with his unicorn. At the end of turn, Harry activates his satchel, and reveals a plains, putting it into play. On Harry's upkeep, he activates the satchel once more, flipping a swamp, who knew manipulating the top of your library was so good. He then draws for turn, and he plays a tapped mortuary mire, returning nothing. Harry then upticks Aminatu, doing the old switcheroo, and he plays a plains for his land for turn, and passes. Sean upticks Lord Wingrace, discarding a forest and drawing two. He then casts a Borborygmos Enraged, paying the one, but Harry's ready, and casts Scattering Stroke, also paying the one, which acts like a poor man's mana drain. They have to clash, and Harry and Sean reveal off the top, with Harry revealing a Sphinx, and Sean revealing a Mountain. The spell gets countered, and Sean then plays a Bajuka Bog and hits Harry. Moving to combat, Sean puts another plus one plus one counter on all of his stuff with the Loyal Guardian. He swings a Carnal Worm at Harry, and Harry activates the Djinn of Wishes, and plays the Sphinx of War Island for free. Now here's where it gets a bit messy, as unfortunately Ben and Harry both forget about the blind obedience on the field. What ends up happening is that Harry blocks with both. Sean decides to kill the Djinn, and in his second main phase, Sean casts a Blood Tracker, who also doesn't come in tapped, for shame my boys. On Ben's turn, we see a Genesis Storm in his main phase, and he gets an extra copy of it because he's cast Estrid this game. He hits Authority of the Consuls, and Argothian Enchantress, with Tal realizing that things should have come in tapped. Ben kindly moves the Blind Obedience and Authority to the center of the table to remind everyone, as I die a little bit more inside with all of these misplays. Ben then upticks Estrid to untap his lands, and he casts Archetype of Imagination, drawing three. Ben then casts an Inflinging Courage on the Unicorn, drawing three more cards. Moving to combat, he has his flying unicorn hit Lord Wingrace for six, and Ben gains six life. Ben then gains two more green mana from his siege in his second main phase, and uses the rest of his lands to help cast Sphere of Safety. Tal plays a tapped is at Guildgate, and equips the Battle Sphere with the helm. He moves to combat, getting a tap copy of the Battle Sphere, and four more tap mirrors. This has Ben gain five life, and Tal passes. Harry gains colorless mana from his pseudo mana drain, and uses some of it to activate his satchel, which just so happens to flip a land. He then casts a dream cache, and drawing three, puts two back on top. Harry then casts a vampiric tutor, taking two life, and going to find something and putting it on top, while Sean pays two life to put a plus one plus one counter on his blood tracker. Harry then upticks Aminatu, drawing and swapping a card. 
We then see Harry cast Emrakul, the promised end, and he opts to take Ben's next turn. Harry then cracks his commander sphere to draw a card, but before doing so, Harry remembers to tap Emrakul, while Ben gains one. Harry then casts an act of authority, and exiles Ben's sphere of safety. Sean upticks Windgrace, discarding a mountain, and pays the two green for the centaur vinecrasher to bring it back. It then comes in with 18 plus 1 plus 1 counters, tapped, and gains Ben 1 life, and Sean draws 2. Sean then casts a Moldgraph Monstrosity, not paying the study tax, which comes in tapped and gives Ben 1 more life. Sean then moves to combat, and he puts a plus 1 plus 1 counter on all of his creatures. He swings both of his creatures at Harry, who unfortunately dies, creating a bit of a paradox. If Harry's dead, does he still get to control Ben's next turn? We believe he doesn't, so it doesn't really matter, and Sean passes to Ben. Ben casts a weirding wood onto one of his lands, investigating and getting a clue token. He then casts an ever-watching threshold, drawing another three. Ben then uptakes Estrid, untapping three of his lands. He then casts a Spear of Heliod, drawing three more. Ben then casts an overgrowth on another land, drawing three more. Moving to combat, Ben hits Sean for 14 and gains 7 life. In his second main phase, Ben casts Sterling Grove, drawing 3 more and plays an island. He then discards down to 7 because despite having drawn almost half his library, he doesn't have a reliquary tower. Tal draws her turn and recasts his commander, giving Ben another life. He moves to combat and gains another battle sphere tapped, and 4 more mirrors tapped, which nets Ben 5 life total. Bruticlad then makes a mirror token with haste, which comes in tapped, and gives Ben another life. Tal then has all of his tokens become copies of the token copy of the battle sphere, and he swings enough to kill Sean. Ben untaps for his turn and his victory in his hand, and he bestows Kestia onto the unicorn and moves to combat, swinging his flying army at Tal to take him out. Game review time. So, I don't have much to say about this game, as it was based around a league and they had their own rule system and point system and all kinds of things that I really don't want to cover and really aren't going to affect any of my other games in the future. I will say that I was particularly impressed with all of the commanders, especially Bruticlad and Lord Wingrace, they seem to do a lot of cool things, and it was really fun to see them in action. If I had to take away anything to remind people about from this game, it's be aware of your triggers and everyone else's triggers. Far too often do people forget about their own triggers like Blind Obedience and Authority of Consoles, and that can really mess up a game. Thankfully in this case, it wasn't such a big deal since Harry was going to die anyway, so things were fine in the end. Please be sure to tune in every Monday and Thursday at 11am Eastern Standard Time for a guaranteed new video. You can also follow me on Twitter at MTGMudsta. You can find me on Facebook at facebook.com slash MTGMudsta. And lastly, you can check me out when I stream at twitch.tv slash MTGMudsta. This video is brought to you in support by my patrons. If you're looking for a way to help out the channel, please be sure to visit the link below. Thank you all for watching this video, and don't forget, friends are just opponents you haven't eliminated yet.